All right, so we're here with uh, Todd just got over here. What's up, guys? All right, new guest on our channel. He uh, actually is uh, one of our viewers that uh, lives local uh, here about 30 minutes away from us. And uh, he's coming over today to do a review on uh, right. one of his guns. What's up, JP? What's up? <laughs> Glad you made it, brother. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. It's going to be fun, man. We're going to head outside. We're going to get uh, Todd's uh, gun and gear and and uh, and see what uh, see how this thing shoots. So I just got back from Richland Siege, which was an Wine Claws event down in Richland, at the Richland Mall okay. in Greenville. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, Brought that home with oh, me. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody hit you hard there. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, so, this oh, is that's the nice setup. Yeah, it is. short version of it. Um, okay. I took off the dust cover just to show off the Kytera because it's cool. pretty like badass. That. Looks badass. Yeah. Um, looks cool. A little flashlight on here and just a 40 mil red dot. Okay. So, um, there. Cool. Give it a hold. Hell yeah. Wow, this is very light. It yeah. weighs five pounds without the flashlight, mm -hmm. so what is that? Okay. A ounces. Yeah. You gotta add a backpack to that because yeah. everybody right. else yeah, yeah. carries mm -hmm. batteries in their guns. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no battery. Mm -mm. So, so you don't need a battery for this? No. It's so, all... so the Kythera is completely mechanical, meaning the tank fills the line with air, the air goes into the chamber, and when you pull the trigger, it opens, it releases the spool valve, and it shoots the air out. To shoot harder, you crank up the tank pressure. Huh. You shoot lower, you turn down the crank, the tank pressure. It's that simple. You and you can change the crazy. FPS on the fly. Yes. You should lock your tank yeah. after you get a chronoed in. Right. You gotta lock the tank. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is the little zip tie that goes around it. Oh, okay. On this is a Polar Star MRS regulator. And if you pull this up, you can see there's a little, yep. tiny little Allen key mm -hmm. spot there. And you crank that up or down for more pressure. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now you can't get to it. Oh, zip tie. okay. So it's a standard 3048 gotcha. aluminum tank. Tank was 60 bucks. Yeah, you can get a lot of shots out of this. So it'll last a day. Oh, for at sure. Least. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's at awesome. least a day. Yeah, because I mean, you know, I know like some places you can get like air pass. Yep. So like each day you can get it refilled yep. if you really needed That's what, to. That's what this was. This little orange sticker was the amped, was the sponsor at the oh, cool. um, Milsim event yep. that I was just at, gotcha. and they had an air pass, 20 bucks. They'd refill it as much as you wanted. So I have a table set up back there. Will you help me out? Yeah. So we're right now, we're at, what is that? 95, 99, something mm -hmm. like that. That will shoot, this will shoot right at 1.5, 1.55 joules. And now. Quiet, dude. <laughs> no fucking quiet, way. Dude. It's so quiet. Are you, kidding me? you haven't heard the silencer yet. Fiberglass. Hell yeah. Mm. Around chicken wire. Oh, shit. Oh. So this was a tracer unit, and um, I turned it into a silencer because, <laughs> well, silencer for that ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, let me let me go over here with the camera. Let's see. And we're going to see, me and Johnny are going to stand over here and see if we can hear it. I mean, I hear it, but I have absolutely no... It sounds like someone's running. Like <laughs> That I is crazy, bro. I can't pinpoint where that's coming from at all. It's so crazy, All you bro. Hear is, you'd only hear the whistle of the BB. This is crazy. The trigger pull is not like any AEG. The most AEGs are like a mouse click. Certainly on, on higher end. Yep. Right, yeah. right, because they're APIs electronic, yeah. That. Yeah, it feels way more like a real firearm than yep. any really? other gun that yeah. I've used. Yeah, here. Oh my god. See? Little kid. Got a little good what you just did. Dude, this actually is a lot more satisfying to shoot. It really is. Than it is a regular airsoft gun. Oh my god, dude. And not a backpack system. Gotcha. My plate carrier was heavy. Yeah. I mean, I was carrying eight mag, a pistol, a camelback, 
and that hand. And these, these muscles here, after hours, and all that. We'll shoot it. What we're going to go to an hour and a half. I mean, that's plenty of time. Drinking a liter of water now. Like, honestly, the face mask. Oh, yeah, it's super light. Yeah, it is. Right. Yeah, I like that trigger too. Yeah, that trigger is fabulous. Is that stock too close for y'all? No, that's good. No, yeah, it was all right. Thing's yeah. badass, bro. Got more. Full on. Semi only. <laughs> Truly run no stock. This is awesome. Oh yeah, right. So yeah, you would, yeah, you wouldn't need it. If you shoot this without air in it, the system can't reset. If you pull the trigger, the sears inside won't reset. Okay. So it's a mechanical reset. Oh, I see. Hmm. Right. So if perhaps your line gets disconnected, which did happen to me during a game. And you were trying to like, right? And you were like, oh, like, shit. and I pulled the trigger. Nothing. Right. So. Hmm. Uh, interesting. So huh. this is just a little mechanic, and I I tied it to a bungee cord, mm. but there's a wire. Okay. Some people That's have gotten fine. really fancy and done it to this. Oh, mm. nice. It shoots as fast as you can pull the trigger, which, actually, I'm curious to test it on that to see, just who has the fastest trigger finger. This is a G and G lower. Okay. I tried to make this work because this is an Ares gun. Well, it's an it's a EMG Helios gun, but it has an Ares gearbox and Ares guts. Okay. And Ares guts are different than standard V2 guts. Mm -hmm. um, the trigger is different. The trigger box is different. And here, this is a standard. This is a nice little speed trigger, it's adjustable and tunable. Little gears. Little okay. Teeth. Yeah. And I tried to make this King Arms gearbox work. Couldn't get it to work. In a standard box, it's a, it's just it just fits in here, and you have an adjustable trigger, and the Kythera just fits on this pin. It'll fit on that pin, um, just inside this black thing. There's a little ring, and that's basically where the gearbox goes, and it fits on that pin and comes back here, and then it's got a little sear. If you watch other Kythera videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. So you actually use the existing yeah. shell. Yeah, I used the existing airy shell, and I trembled the crap out of it to make it work. Right. This is a skinny grip. You notice, hang on, let's turn this around to the camera. Oh yeah. There's a line there. This is a skinny grip compared to, most stock grips are going to be flush with that. Yep. So this is a quite, their slimline, Aries slimline grip. Hmm. So it feels a little different in your hand, um, if, especially if you got little hands, you notice it. You can get your thing, hand around a little better. Um, Y'all have bear claws, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, so we got the chrono set up, and we're basically going to see who has the fastest trigger finger on this thing. So we're each going to take a turn. So, that, so it's semi auto. Yeah, semi auto. It's not full auto, and yep. it'll shoot as fast as you can pull the trigger, right? Yep. And it's not it's not a mouse click. You got to actually pull right. the trigger. Right. It's mechanical trigger, it's like, mechanical, uh, like yeah. real guns. So mm -hmm. it's a true test. Alright, shooter, you ready? Do it. All right, this is Chris going first. Go. Hmm? What's your score? Five, five. No, I'm kidding. Six point three. Okay. Oh, close. <laughs> six point three was a uh, second, right? Six point three. No, yes. a minute. <laughs> yeah, six point three a second. You dummy. You weren't even on there for <laughs> 6.3 a minute. All right, so the next one up is Coltrane. Hit it. All right. 6.5. 6. 6.5. That skinny grip, my entire <laughs> finger is like inside <laughs> of it. <laughs> that spring, that spring. That was a spring. <laughs> JP's up next. Shooter ready? Ready. Hit it. Ooh, nice. Cheater. 7.3. So I did I wanted to try both. I wanted to try both. Alright. Next up is Todd. He's got the most experience with this. Shooter ready. Alright, hit it. Hit it.
All right. Stayed pretty yes. consistent. 6.2. Do one more run. Cause it was kind of, some of them were bouncing off the bottom of the chrono. Oh, gotcha. That's fine. All right. You ready? Hit it. 6.6. That was a little faster. Well, for the uh, contest, JP. I won one. Won. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks for the for enthusiasm. Once. <laughs> <laughs> course we did the other day. Oh, I, was, I, I was last. Well, I was. Hey, we're gonna have another contest for shooting targets here, okay? Drought. No, no, it was not hitting right. So, something went right. Bench. All right, workbench. So it's not shooting even though there's BBs in the mag, right? Is that what's right. happening? So and you reset the thing or whatever? Or? Yeah, it's not feeding when there's a mag in. I gotcha. So there's something with how the hop-up's running. Like, that's definitely not right. Yeah, that's not right. It doesn't yeah, sound, sound the same. Or it sounds... We have... Enough still pressure. Still on the PSI and enough yeah. pressure, so... Okay. Holy the, crap bucking lip is pulled up there thank you yep check that out okay push the baby through there you go there it is there's your winning bb right but there. but the bucking lip is still yep curled yep that's a piece of pencil eraser yeah nice. i've seen that done before actually turn the hot off it's like did, it, did it rip yeah, it's like damaged you can see it's starting to rip. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is ripped, yeah. Just huh. a little bit. And this is not flat hopped to where I could just kind of turn it. Oh, okay. So what's happening is the BB's coming up through the hop and it's rolling over yeah. this oh, edge. Oh, okay, yeah. It's pulling it with it. And it's pulling it with it. Yep. Just what bucking is that? Is this that the maple is leaf a maple leaf macaroon, macron. I don't know. Yeah. Macaroni. Macaroni. <laughs> Let's put okay. it back in and see if the bucking lip is too long. If you look through there, oh, it's, can uh, you see it? Yeah. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. I didn't expect this to happen. Sounds awesome. All right, we're back up and running. Well, Todd did some surgery on this thing here and uh, cut just enough off what he needed. It looks like it works great, so we're uh, we're ready to go again. So we're gonna do a contest. I mean, his, that, from the stump to the table is is pretty much your standard engagement distance. Yep, 85, 90 feet. All right, we're about to start this contest. Oh yeah. I'm ready when you are. Why well, ready? Should we ready? Right, one second. Yeah, I'm ready. Start. Nine point two eight. That was way better than last time. Woo! That was fast. Right. That was pretty fast, bro. JP got nine point two eight. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. What do you say? Nine point two eight? Yeah. All right. All right. Next up is Coltrane. Ready? We're ready when you are. Shoot, ready? Ready. ready when you are. Start. Ten point zero three. Oh, man. So yeah, close. close. That was close, bro. You, you, you so last, close, dude. The last target. Shoot ready? Shoot ready. Start. <laughs> Twelve point eight eight. Like get that damn target. Twelve point eight eight. All right, next up is Chris. Crispy Chris. All right, shooter ready. Start.
All right, so we got 13.3. God dang, I was slow. Five. <laughs> oh, yeah. What was it, 13? 13.3. Woo! Yeah. Right. Who's the winner? You know, brag about winning both contests. Yeah, okay, I'll do that too. That's, that's, that's a good one. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, guys, so we just want to appreciate Todd here for coming by, uh, bringing his Polar Star, letting us take a look at it, letting us shoot it, letting me win tournaments with it. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it was awesome, man. Uh, we're, we're sold on it. Definitely check out uh, the, the the list because we're going to be we're gonna be getting that stuff. Like, hands down, it's the most simplistic loadout. It's going to happen. Yeah. So we can't appreciate Todd enough. Um, and then he was a part of our giveaway video as well, so make sure you check that out. And, uh, and if you weren't in the giveaway, make sure you get a patron uh, subscri subscription, and then we'll get you into the next giveaway, okay? But again, Todd, thank you so much for coming by. Uh, everybody, we appreciate you. And as always, go get them.